It's Hollywood Babylon. With your hosts, Kevin Smith and Ralph Garman. Last week, we talked a little bit about the fact that Christian Bale called into my radio show years ago when he went off on that rant. Remember him from the set of Terminator 4, I guess it Terminator was? Terminator Salvation. Yeah. He went ape shit all over the guy who was the DP, and it got released and it went viral on the internet, and it made him sound like shit. It really did. And so people kept writing in saying, can we hear the story? Can we hear the story? So really quickly, this is the, for those of you who didn't hear it when it came out, this was the rant that Christian Bale went on, a little piece of the rant, when he was on the set of Terminator Salvation. No! No! Don't shut me up! Am I going to walk around and rip your fucking lights down? In the middle of a scene, then why the fuck are you walking right through? Ah, da 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 da, like this in the background. What the fuck is it with you? You got any fucking idea about, hey, it's fucking distracting having somebody walking up behind Bryce in the middle of the fucking scene. Give me a fucking answer. What don't you get about it? I was looking at the light. Oh, good for you. And how was it? I hope it was fucking good because it's useless now, isn't it? Fuck's sake, man, you're amateur. I want to fucking kick your fucking ass. You know, Christian, shut up Christian, for a second, all right? I'm going to go. Do you want me to go fucking trash your lights? Do you want me to fucking trash them? Then why are you trashing my scene? I'm not trying to trash You are trashing my scene. You do it one more fucking time, and I ain't walking on this set if you're still hired. I'm fucking serious. You're a nice guy. You're a nice guy, but I don't fucking cut it when you're bullshitting and fucking around like this on set. Seriously, man, you and me, we're fucking done professionally. Why didn't he use that as the Batman voice? That would be great. <laughs> All whiny and shit. Oh, you're attacking Gotham. Good for you. No, 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 Joker. You can't just fucking blow shit up. No. You can't fucking have two ships of fucking people and then I'm supposed to fucking decide who lives and who dies? You are fucking amateur, mate. You are amateur. We are done professionally. Oh, la di da di da I'm going to fucking blow up Gotham City. What the fuck is wrong with you, Joker? Why so serious? Good for you! So anyway, when that story broke, as we do on the morning radio show, we just beat that shit into the ground. <laughs> Pretty much every day I would call into Kevin and Bean and I would be Christian Bale supposedly on the phone and I'd be doing an interview with them or something and one of them would do something like hit the microphone or something and it would set me off. So here's a little piece of the, the, the comedy bits we did based on that rant. Hey Christian, good afternoon. Hello Kevin and Bean, how are you? Well, we're good. How are you? Uh, I'm all right. It's been a little embarrassing today hearing that audio piece going around. That was, Certainly. So that was Certainly. what, a couple of months ago when it yeah, actually Yeah, a couple happened? months ago we were shooting um, a Terminator, and it's, you know, it's difficult. I, I, I pride myself on being a professional, and it's been difficult to hear sure. that being played and, you know, on the Internet and on shows like yours because it really is just it's completely out of context, so it sounds you know, worse than, than it would ordinarily. Well, well, what was yeah. the context? What, what happened that would make it make sense? Well, look, I'm not proud of it. It's embarrassing. But sometimes when you're on a set, when you're on a creative enterprise, and you're working together, and sometimes... Sorry. Sorry. What was that? Sorry. I hit my microphone. I'm sorry. Oh, don't you... just be sorry! You were saying... Don't be sorry! <laughs> Think for a fucking minute! Okay, okay hold on. What hold on, that? Christian. You were just talking... What the f*** was that? I hit the it was... microphone. I... Oh, good! It was on... <laughs> for you! And how is it? How is the microphone? It's, it's fine. Is it f- good? It wasn't... I didn't do it on purpose. You are so f- amateur. <laughs> oh, come on. Christian, listen, we don't want this to derail the interview. It was just a mistake. He accidentally Let's hit a piece of equipment. Don't shut me up. Don't you f***ing shut me up. Well, let's just, can we just talk about the topic that no, we got let's you talk the f- about, I don't come to your studio and trash your mics, do I? Well, no, but. Do I? Well, then don't trash my interview. <laughs> right, it's hard enough to do an interview without you hitting the microphone. Oh, did I, did I, hit the microphone. <laughs> Look, I just, I Are was you reaching... professional or not? I am not. Are you professional or not? No. No, you are so f***ing Amateur. Okay. okay. <laughs> wow. 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 Look, I don't you're think right. this Look, is you're called a nice for. Guy. You're a nice guy. Thank right? you. Thank you. But you are. We are f- through professionally. Well, we've never had a professional relationship. <laughs> well, I'm not the one f- knocking microphones around. Instant request. Get ready. 
All right, let's make it happen. First on the phone, our old friend Adam West at his home in Idaho. Good morning, Adam. How are you? Good morning, Captain Athena. How are you? Well, we're great. Thanks for joining us. I don't know if you've had the opportunity to meet uh, the current incarnation of Batman at the movies, but we've got Christian Bale on the other line. Hi, Christian. Uh, how you doing, fellas? Good to see you. So, Adam, have you met Christian Bale before? No, I've never had the pleasure of meeting the new Batman, but uh, I must say I understand he's very popular. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. I'm very popular, and, uh, and uh, I have to say congratulations to you, you know, for keeping the character alive for, for all those years. Well, thank you, Christian. I really appreciate that. <laughs> well, it's the least I can do because, uh, you, what, what are you doing? What? Nothing, I'm just listening. Oh, I heard you clear your throat in the background there. Yes, I have a bit of phlegm. <laughs> <laughs> well, what am I supposed to do in an interview while you're clearing your throat? Oh, no. Christian. Oh, no. Christian, he's an old Why? man. He just, he's, he's being very nice to get up this early and come on in the phone and you're talk so to us. Amateur, you and I are done professionally. Well, we've never actually worked together, and I don't believe we will. That's <laughs> right. We won't work together <laughs> because you are so <laughs> amateur. Who will always clear my throat? Oh, good <laughs> for you. How was it? how was your throat? I don't come to <laughs> Idaho and mess with your <laughs> bat cave, do I? Wow. Well, I don't really think that's called for, Christian. Oh, you don't. Well, <laughs> oh, dee -da, dee -da, dee -da. I'm Batman. Look at me. I'm f***ing 11 years old. F*** you, you old <laughs> oh, oh, Christian, I that's so mean. I don't appreciate being talked to in that way. I don't blame you. That, you are, I am not coming back to this phone call if you're not fired. If you're still hired, I'm not coming back to this phone call. Yeah, so we did that for about a week. Thank you. Here's the thing you don't know when you're working in Los Angeles. <laughs> Movie stars have radios. <laughs> and apparently Christian Bale had been listening in his car on the way to a set of another film each and every morning <laughs> as we beat this story into the ground. So I'm about to go on the radio and I get a, I get a, a word from our producer who says, fuck. <laughs> I'm like, what? Christian Bale's on the telephone. <laughs> I said, yeah, sure it is. Sure, Christian Bale's on the telephone. And so I pick up the phone, and he says, oh, good for... No, he didn't say that. Um, he said, yeah, it's Christian Bale. Can I get on the air? Can we talk about this? And I was like, yes, sir. <laughs> and it was just before I went on. So I literally went on, and I, and I didn't tell the guys. It was a surprise for them, but I broke the news on the air. We have a special guest on the phone, Christian Bale. And here's the beginning of that conversation. Oh, wow. Christian has apparently uh, heard some of the segments we've been doing since the release of no. that audio tape. Oh. And i got to tell you, I have to tell you, listen, it has been a miserable week for me. Sure. And you guys, I, I, was, I was driving in the car. Right. And, and you, you, you made me laugh in the midst of all this, uh, this uh, uh, craziness. I find that hard to believe. <laughs> really? So we talked to him for about 10 minutes, and here's a little piece of his, I think, heartfelt apology for how he felt about the fact that this bad behavior was exposed to the public at large. The thing that I really want to stress is I have no confusion whatsoever. I was out of order beyond belief. I was way out of order. I acted like a punk. I regret that. And there is nobody that has heard that tape that is hit harder by it than me. Oh, good for you! Oh, oh, I'm all hit, la di da di da Anyway, no, he, uh, he went on and on and apologized profusely over and over again. He felt so bad about it. And that's when I knew that Christian Bale was a pretty good dude. So it doesn't surprise me he's doing all these nice things for other people. So that was, the, that was the point and, of that story. And he's doing all these nice things in a way to race that fast. And you just brought it all the fuck back up. 